There's a lot of, a lot of pressure on this thing. A lot more than I thought. See if I can get a bigger clamp on here. These little babies are having a hard time holding it down. The thing is boiling up on me. Okay, I think we need just a little bit more material around the edges. This is a big, big plug. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, throw some lead on here. Force that thing down. There we go. This place is a lot of volume, that's why it's okay now. We'll come across here and keep off any excess we got. Sand this stuff once it's done. I mean, if you've got it down here on the bottom or anything too thin, you just take a belt sander to it. Knock it down. The nice thing about this is when it cures on the bench, it just scrapes up with the scraper. It doesn't prevent any problems. Okay. to the rim. And it's not even brim. Looking good. Okay. Super. Now, like I mentioned on the, or like, uh, I can't remember who posted on the web, but it reminded me, don't clean your containers in the sink, because this stuff will wipe, wash out real nice, but it will cure in the water. It will lay down in your dry, dry in your uh, drain pipes in the house, and then just solidify and uh, clog up your drain over a period of time. So, just to rinse off your stuff in a bucket of water. Let the stuff settle to the bottom, and then uh, in a couple hours you can pour out the water, and that stuff will cure, and then it'll just pop right out of your, out of your box, so, out of your container. Like this one. Now this nice smooth plastic, this will pop, I'll just let this cure, and it'll, it'll pop right out of there. But, uh, I want to clean this off. And uh, what else? Well, I think you don't dirty up too much when you're doing a pour like this. It's not like all the stuff when we did the original casting. Let's scrape the this off the bed here. Okay, that's the 
uh, into part two. Looks like it's all smoothed out and level. And uh, as soon as that sets up, a couple hours, whatever. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time today to put a day in. But, uh, then we'll do another video and uh, we'll pop this thing out of here. I did drill a hole in the side at the bottom on the, the back side where it doesn't make any difference and filled that with wax. So uh, when this gets all done, I can uh, take a shot of air in there and hopefully I think it'll just pop right out. So uh, see you next time, I guess. This one, I might need a could use just a little more material over here, I think. That's still pretty. One thing nice when you're doing it this thin, it doesn't uh, set up so fast you don't have time to work with it. So. Okay. See you next time.